welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 Ooh, 2019 goosebumps. Deep It's Quest. The hair oh, on my freaking arm is standing. This year, I'm we'd so like stoked to give you this a game. What's up, it's Johnny, and welcome to another reaction video. We're bringing this right back, but instead, we're going to be doing stuff that's a little bit differently like we did last time. So if you guys are new, Monday through Saturday, we do a gameplay video. We either continue series, we do indie horror games, indie games, we do all sorts of stuff. Um, but on Sunday, like the, like the kickback, right? Get some snacks, get your drinks, and just watch some stuff, right? So today... I figured we would we would start the series back up, but do just a little bit different. Since we're a gaming channel, we'd watch games, man. Okay, and we might go back and watch like horror stuff, but I want to like actually watch stuff and react to it. So this is the first time I've actually seen Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, the deep dive video, and actually any gameplay for this game. And I don't know why it's been it's a game that I really want this year. It's been a game that we're gonna do an entire full playthrough. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys do the YouTube stuff. And listen, I just I haven't I haven't watched anything. So I'd say let's just start it, okay? Ready? Let's get it. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so excited. Hey V, you alright? Let's do this. Wait for the connection. <sighs> you won't give out what this is. What's happening? Like a like a bath of I, uh, ice. Okay. What now? Ibari. Johnny. Ibari. Yeah, that's me. Ready to plunge. What's going on? CD Project, dude, this game is gonna be insane. Cannot wait for the series, man. The series is gonna be fucking lit. Super blurry, I can't see nothing. What is this? Are we, do we like go into like a different dimension? Where are we? Oh, they're asking the right question. Yes, that a fortress. Bridge to the deep net. Oh, she's quick as hell, huh? Look like at Matrix. Maybe like in this weird. Yeah, and there are no borders. Beyond the black wall. Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 Ooh, 2019 goosebumps. Deep Dive video. In last year's gameplay reveal, we showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk Dude, 2077, got... its quest, the hair the... on my freaking visual arm design. standing. This year, I'm we'd so like stoked to give you a peek at some of the play styles you'll be able to adopt as your character progresses through the story. Here goes nothing. You're about to see sequences embodying two distinct approaches to playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> We'll show you a strong solo build. That is, a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action. This game, man. And a Netrunner build. A playstyle taking frequent advantage of stealth tactics, hacking, and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. Additionally, you'll learn more about Pacifica, one of the game's districts. Two gangs, the animals and the voodoo boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, the digital construct who haunts our- That's right, they have freaking Keanu Reeves in this thing. I forgot about that. Dude, this game, oh my God, I cannot freaking wait. I'm freaking out, I'm sorry, sorry. V. A word of caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game deep into the main storyline, we have edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Be aware that the gameplay as presented does reveal characters and locations you'll see while playing the game's main story arc. So watch at your own discretion. There's your guys' warning right there. Oh my god. This has been out for a year now though, so. This way. Night this City. Video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. Oof. Nah. 
You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Here's a thing that I really would like to know. Before, I mean, not, not necessarily before the game comes out, but like more so in general. I hope we have a customization because I I'm I'm assuming they're taking things from Witcher Three, which I played the absolute shit out of, um, and that had like a, a pretty deep customization. Um, not like extremely deep, but like you could apply runes and like things like that on your sword, and that was pretty cool. I'm hoping they go full fledged towards like that in this game, and I hope they have a customization for your cars as well. So. Hopefully we can get like our own house and like build that up and like get like a sweet garage and like throw like I want like a GTA style RPG. That's what I'm looking for. Ongoing gang wars That'd be sick. this part of the city. Outsiders don't come here if they don't have to. Even by Night City standards, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast bike, motorbike bro. or armor-plated car Ooh. would be the safer option. But places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start. Wait, let's look at this look. Okay, so we got graphic t-shirts. Okay, so we got physical resistance, thermal resistance, electrical resistance, and chemical resistance. I think it says stick it to the man like Samurai merch available at authorized retailers. Okay. So we can get like jackets and t-shirts and stuff like that. I'm just trying to like break everything down here. Your search. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so it looks like we can get like like uh like an undershirt, an overshirt, like a, like a jacket of some kind, pants, and then uh shoes. And then we'll have like guns and as well, and then obviously our own. We can okay. I, now I see a crafting tab, bro. This game, man. The Grand Imperial. This Mall game is, is a whole other thing. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently, it stood vacant, but now a game called The Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Something's not going right for the big guy. How big that guy is. And that's what we need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the Animals' rivals. What the hell? You could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. He's a big guy. Chuck in now. Gangs. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. I've now seen the Blizzard Hardway on Subnet. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. I see what you see, hear what you hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are the... God, look at those waiting. graphics. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. <laughs> The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Hand sent me. So oh God. Work, work needs doing. Oof. Still, to earn their trust, we need to prove our worth. Placid, okay. one of the Voodoo Boys higher I want to see a has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. The Animals. Twenty thirty-five. Zero seven. Three seconds before, poof, the camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. The animals are not your normal gang. Their right. presence in Pacifica is suspicious. They value might above all else and wear melee combat are. implants to raise their prowess in combat. Their They're beverage huge. of choice is juice, a potent strength and speed enhancing concoction. As sought after bouncers, they're usually dispersed My throughout God. town. As skilled street level business types, they've cornered Sasquatch. the market in illegal Whoa. substance. Very high, very high, very high, and very high again. One, one weak spot found? Okay. This is an underground. Well, a mini boss or something, maybe? Fights. 
When they converge in one spot, it's for something big. It's then they appoint the fastest and strongest among them as their ad hoc leader. In this case, it's a woman named Sasquatch. Said you wanted my back. It's a woman? No. As far as I remember, you said no bone brain buffaloes on steroids. I'm afraid that's the cost of doing biz. This is the tech Placide was talking about. It seems non-standard for the animals. And this is where we come in. Getting to the van won't be easy, but we're more than qualified for the job, which we can complete in one of many ways. The character creation in oh Cyberpunk 2077 is the kind you'd expect from a full-fledged RPG. You start by choosing your past, important because this unlocks special options at wow. important story well, junctions. I mean, that's kind of like normal, You also but... fully customize your character using Now, a I did hear that we could we could do genitals. Genital uh options where we can like make our dick long as hell, boy. And I mean, I ain't mad about it. All right? If I can't have it in real life, Gonna have it in the freaking game, son. I'm having a duck, man. Start it back up. That's all I'm saying. Deep customization system that spans not only your look and style, but also your abilities. Intel oh, let's go back. We gotta look at that. God Cyber ah, dang it. Gimme back here. We got eyes, nose, ears, mouth, jaw, beard, surface wiring, and hairstyle. And our skin tone. But also and we also got body intelligence, reflexes, technical, and cool. Interesting. Cyberpunk 2077 does not feature fixed... Oh my god. Handguns, rifles, blades, hacking, intelligence, shotguns, two-handed, reflexes, cool, and body, which we already saw that earlier. Assassination, nerves, sniper rifles, engineering, technical, melee, and athletics. Oh my. Classes. Instead, it has a. So I wonder. Now, when I played Witcher 3, I was level like 60 or something like that. And I'm thinking they're probably going to go the same route, as in like you just continue to level up and you can pretty much make your guy like a ridiculous badass. So I wonder how that. Because right now he's level 18. So I'm wondering that's kind of how they're going to do this because you can. You can level up each thing a few times that I can look at, or I can see. Like, how you can go up to nine times. Engineering is seven. Knife rifles, nerve, and assassination up to nine. Handguns is four. A class system that allows so, players to mix and match a know. wide range of abilities to suit their play styles. You can create a strong solo character, Oof. a skilled netrunner, or any other hybrid class you can imagine. Dude, just looking at this gameplay, it's so smooth. Is so smooth. Like, like, uh, CD Projekt Red is ridiculous, man. Just watch this. Let's see how a solo play style in Cyberpunk 2077 might work. Solos prefer a direct approach. They use guns and might to get things done. So let's Oof. wreak some havoc. With our enhanced strength, we can strip this turret of its weapon to give the animals Took a taste it out of, of their the own medicine. turret? This is how a, a player casing? investing in solo abilities might live out their Terminator power fantasy. Oh my god. Enhanced strength lets us force open doors. Force open. Or grab enemies what to use as human shields. We oh also gain God. access to powerful melee combat oh. Got him in this throat area! Oh my God! Ow! So even someone as fast and strong as Sasquatch, the leader of this group of animals, That's that shit. is not impossible to beat for a solo. Yeah, but he ain't doing no damage, man. But Sasquatch has a different game plan. She's out to jack in and hack us. Let's see how this plays out. Hacking us? Proceed. What's going on? Yo, he's, to, he's hacking us. This game is absolutely. Oh, that did some damage. Took down our shield type thing. My it's God. our choice if we want to finish her off or spare her. Your cyberpunk, your rules. <laughs> If you'd rather sneak around, hide, and strike from the shadows, no problem. 
just develop your net running skills to get around obstacles or hack into enemy tech to have it do the dirty work for you. That'd be kind of cool. Oh my. Net running abilities mean hacking skills that let us use our cyber deck to breach access points. The amount of replayability this game is going to hold is going to be insane. And they've already announced that they're going to have as much DLC or more DLC than, the, than, than they had for The Witcher 3. And The Witcher 3 had a lot of DLC, like small free DLC, like changing your hair and like giving clothes to like Yennefer and stuff like that. And they had like two? Two or three, I think it was two, but I think it was, it was two or three big size expansions. And Blood, Blood and Wine was like 40 hours of, of, of DLC or expansion. So what, what they can do with this game is going to be insane, man. For this, we fill the buffer of our cyber deck with a string of instructions represented by these letters and numbers. Matching the instructions so the, for basic access no grants us control of devices connected to this network. The more instructions we match, the more control we gain over elements in the network. We can hack our way through in numerous ways. Gotcha. A quick hack may grant us control of the security camera. Another one should let us tweak the difficulty of the training bot to create a distraction. So like, this is why I like CD Projekt. I'm, 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 I'm sorry that I'm pausing this. I just, this is my, this is my reaction, baby. Okay, so whatever's hitting my brain, it's coming out of my mouth. The reason why CD Projekt, CD Projekt Red has done so well and they're so well um, received is because when they make games, they give you the option to do what you want to do. Okay? And that, this is one of the reasons why this game is going to do so well is because, like, Bethesda, like, they make their games um, kind of like that. Like, you can go and you can pick stuff up and you can put it down and you, it's cool. But having the ability to run through a mission completely different than what you did before, multiple times over, is going to be insane. Because then you could like, like, you could make a complete stealth build and just go and stealth your way through the entire game. Or you can go in guns blazing, which would be completely different. Obviously, same location, same enemies, yada, 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 yada. But you're, you have different things that you can invest in will make, sure, will make your character so much more different. So the replayability, like I said before, is just going to be insane in this game. All right, back to the gameplay. Sorry. Do you like that killed it? With our nano wire, we can even hack this guy's implants from a distance. In this what? Way, almost everything is connected to a local network, and that means it can be hacked. Ours is a wolf. I love it. That's freaking Which brings amazing. us back to cyberspace. Lore. You don't get to do anything in the net unnoticed. There's always someone watching. It could be Corpos, or even worse, it could be Netwatch. And that is exactly the case here. Who is they? Netwatch. They always have to fuck us. Netwatch and the Voodoo Boys are like fire and ice. The first of these wants to maintain the old order and protect people from AI anarchy originating from beyond the Black Wall. The Voodoo Boys want to establish contact with the free AIs. They believe this will enable their boundless expansion on the net and grant them the upper hand over Netwatch. Netwatch sees this as the end of the world. Both are right. Netwatch agent. Hey. How you deal with the Netwatch agent is entirely up to you. Do we side with the gang? Choosing to be on Netwatch's bad side is never wise. But can we really trust the Voodoo Boys? You set me up! As you can see, we have many possible and options. And that's like another thing, like, like I said before. You could go with like different gangs. You could actually like go against the net, the agents. You could go with like, there's, dude. But in each case, we take a risk. Think it's I'll gonna be to insane. <clears throat> Wow. Hacked his head. Wow. That did 
didn't work out well. No. In the world of cyberpunk, few things go as planned. And that was just a that glimpse was of how reads. complex the branching storyline in Cyberpunk 2077 Dude, can get. Every decision you make will have consequences. Your choices will shape how the world reacts to you That's and amazing. affect your relationships with those around you. One of those relationships is special. Ever heard of Johnny Silverhand, a rebel rocker boy who will be your companion throughout your adventure in That's Night him. City? Come on, really think they give a rat's dick how you look? Like everyone in Cyberpunk 2077, he has his own agenda. You'll decide if he'll be your ally or your enemy. And that chip in your head, the one thanks to which Johnny lives inside your mind. Well, that's a story for another time. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. This game is going to be insane, man. All right, guys, that was the reaction of Cyberpunk 2077. Now, listen, there is another one. This is the reason why a couple videos back, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever it was, um, I said that the reaction video is going to be super long because there is an actual, ep uh, an actual video, a Cyberpunk gameplay that's an hour long, and I have not seen it. But you guys like this, and you guys want me to see that, and react to that let me know in the comments let me know what you guys think of cyberpunk and let me know if you guys are excited for the freaking series because we're doing a 100 percent series baby run through 100 percent of it we're going through every mission every side quest getting all the levels every good gun everything baby so expect a 300 part series because that's what's gonna be okay that's what's gonna be and i don't want to argue about it all right if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. Always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!